Today, I'm redesigning old superheroes I made as a kid. You can't have a superhero universe with only one superhero. Back then, I made a bunch, and most of them were on a team called the Hero Assembly. The problem is, these guys were nothing special. That's why I'm going to take three members of my childhood superhero team and give them all new superhero suits, a grounding origin story, and a unique role on the team. And at the end of this video, we're gonna grant each of them a unique role at the Hero Assembly HQ's honorary round table. Let's jump into our first hero. Meet Whipstar. Actually, Whipstar is the second hero I made for this universe. As a kid, I wasn't very good at coming up with new characters, and I figured because my first superhero, Bullet Boy, had a sibling, she might as well be one too. As for her design, it's pretty simple, and I like the colors. But I think we'll make some minor adjustments to her suit and upgrade her to my current art style. That's right, Bullet Boy's older sister, Brittany McKean, is also a superhero. In fact, she's the reason that Bullet Boy or Josh is still alive today and why he has his superpowers. Let's rewind. Brittany's parents are world-class famous athletes who for a living travel the world, do press, give speeches, win championships, and make a lot of money while doing it. Early on as their career was exploding, a shadowy research company with private investors reached out to the newly married couple offering them a promising and reliable future on the condition that they could be used as test subjects for their new untraceable performance enhancing serum. Of course, they said no. But after months of coercement and not so subtle manipulation, the McKeans finally caved in and signed a deal without realizing that Britney's mother was also pregnant at the time. As the now accidental recipient of a volatile super serum, Britney almost immediately grew into her powers. Super strength, the ability to fly, energy generation, and famously wields a powerful energy whip. When Britney was old enough to realize what had happened to her parents, she used her powers to fight and expose the tech company that affected her family and got it shut down. Her parents were found innocent and allowed to resume their career, and somehow they didn't even realize that their daughter had superpowers. Because their job caused them to be gone for long periods of time, they hired a robot caretaker and left her to her own devices back in their massive mansion. Brittany found herself leaving the house at night to stop crime as Whipstar, and over the years she came in contact with other local heroes and eventually became a pivotal part of forming the Hero Assembly. In relation to her brother Josh, who does later become Bullet Boy, despite living in the same massive house, they're both quite distant from one another and know nothing about the other secret life. Long story short, they're both heroes, they both serve their city at opposite times of the day, and neither have any tolerance for one another. Maybe someday that will change. But in a nutshell, that's Whipstar. Even in her early 20s, Whipstar is one of the team's most powerful members and serves as the Hero Assembly's moral compass, ensuring the team stands true to their values and stands firm in their ethics and principles. Which isn't always easy, especially when you're romantically entangled with another member of the team. Meet Hero X. When I made Hero X as a kid, he was meant to be some combination of a skilled vigilante like Nightwing and a fierce animalistic brawler like Wolverine. I spent a lot of time on live stream with you guys thinking of ways to make him stand out on this team, and I tried to give him the origin story he never really had. His name is Damon DeFalco, a young man who spent most of his childhood homeless and always on the move alongside his older brother Marcus. As orphans from a tragic and explosive incident that claimed both of their parents, Damon and Marcus traversed from city to city relying on their street smarts and resourcefulness to survive. Being the oldest, Marcus Marcus became Damon's unwavering base of support, the one constantly grounding him to reality day to day. But knowing that Marcus was holding things together for both of them, Damon always tried to do his part by remaining subdued and helping where he could. Both of them just clung to the hope that one day they could settle down and find a place to call home. Things took a turn when upon entering a new city, they were confronted by a local gang in need of assistance on a high stakes heist. Damon and Marcus found themselves recruited against their will, hoping that maybe if they played their cards right, they could secure some money, make an escape, and finally achieve their dream of a stable life. On the night of the heist, Marcus sneaks away to join the gang, but of course, Damon follows. They successfully infiltrate the compound with the intention of stealing a powerful piece of technology. Just as Marcus becomes aware of the unparalleled potential for evil with the gang leader in possession of such technology, he spots Damon out of the corner of his eye and understands the example that he's setting and knows what needs to be done to set things right. Damon watches from hiding as Marcus takes action to sabotage the mission, confronting the gang leader and trying to take back the device. In a brutal fight, Marcus manages to take back the tech and throws it to Damon just before meeting his fate at the hands of the gang. After a breathless moment of shock, years of suppressed emotions overwhelm Damon. He holds the device close to his chest as the gang's strongest members try to pry it from him. It was no use, and in an instant, Damon had transformed into a hulking, monstrous creature with fiery eyes and extraordinary strength. There were no survivors that night.
light, and Damon had become tethered to the power of the device. In the following weeks, Damon gradually pieced together the powers that he'd unlocked. With any intense emotion, Damon could trigger a transformation, morphing him into any number of formidable creatures reflective of that emotion. Now, burdened with newfound abilities and haunted by the loss of his family, he learns to channel his power and use it for good. He joins the Hero Assembly and starts dating Whipstar, who shares his yearning for justice. When the time comes and Whipstar discovers her annoying younger brother is also a superhero, I can imagine Damon being able to give Brittany meaningful perspective, especially as someone who lost their sibling. And that's Hero X, who undoubtedly is the team's strongest member, with his primary transformation leaning into his fiery rage. I think this design is also a nice step away from the Robin S design elements he had before, and serves as a pretty cool base for any of his transformations. We now have two very powerful members of the Hero Assembly, but their powers are ineffective without proper planning and technical support on missions. Meet Insect. Now, I do like the original idea for this design, but the more I looked at it, I couldn't stop seeing other characters. Moon Knight? Blue Beetle? Big Chill? Spawn? Something had to change. Also, it made sense to me that since we had so many guys in this universe, it was time we brought in another girl character. And after writing down the story I had in mind for her, it really felt like the right move. During a mission to rescue a team of underground researchers trapped in an ancient underground tomb, the Hero Assembly meet among the rescued a young archaeologist who had just come in contact with an unknown species of insect. After bringing her back to the Assembly's HQ, she slowly remembers her name, Luna. Initially, she had little to no memory of the incident, but slowly she began recalling things that she'd never experienced, and suddenly gained access to the large interconnected neural network created by the insect population freed from the tomb. In gratitude for saving her life and in exchange for plenty of good food, Luna offers her skills. Despite the initial hesitation, the team decides to accept her help and allows her to continue research using their facilities. Luna quickly becomes an exceptional addition to the team, aiding the assembly in ongoing missions by managing tech at their headquarters and providing remote intel when necessary. And of course, she makes herself at home devouring all of the team's food, almost as if she was preparing for some kind of hibernation. And months later, Luna's entire countenance shifts. She suddenly hasn't eaten in days, and it becomes clear that something is changing. The following morning, the team wakes up to find Luna partially consumed by what seems to be the start of a cocoon. She calmly assures everyone that there's nothing to be worried about and continues to run the missions as normal. However, she is noticeably asleep all of the time and grumpy during most of the missions. Over the next few days, her productivity dwindles until Luna is completely cocooned. The team has no idea what to do and eventually decides that she must have entered some sort of metamorphosis. So for some reason, they decide to leave her alone. For the next couple of weeks, Luna's cocoon hangs from the ceiling of the team's main living room. They return to missions as usual, missing the assistance and unity that they once had with Luna's help. And on one particularly dangerous mission, the team faces serious trouble. And it seems as if they might be lost for good. And just when all hope seems lost, a flurry of insects fill the room as Luna bursts forth in all new biological exoskeleton armor. For the first time, Insect joins the fight as a full-fledged hero. She frees the rest of the team, enabling them to team up against evil and save the day. On future missions, Luna joins the team as Insect, but still has a tendency to hang back at HQ in order to conduct research and run mission-specific tests. However, when the team needs her most, she'll be in the field, utilizing her ability to fly, camouflage herself, sting with venom, and heal. This hero definitely received the biggest makeover. I think Insect now has a design that moves away from a technological mechanical suit into something more organic that supports her origin and newfound abilities. I can already see her having some really funny interactions with the team, especially during her metamorphic process. The time has come to give each hero a seat at the Hero Assembly HQ's honorary round table. Whipstar serving as a pillar of the team's identity as the team's leader, Hero X as the team's transforming martial arts expert and heavy strength, and Insect as the team's resident tactician and tech specialist. Oh, and now might be a good time to mention, my first superhero Bullet Boy isn't actually on the Hero Assembly's team. Bullet Boy is early in his career as a superhero, and before he can join, he'll need to learn what it means to be one. Not to mention they find him aggravating, believes he creates more problems than actually solves them, and usually can't help but break the rules. Keep working at it, Bullet Boy. Comment down below if you have your own superhero team. Which hero from this video did you like the most? Most. Keep in mind, there are still plenty of seats at the table, so leave a like and maybe I'll do a part two. See ya.